Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a resin flower coaster, but really quickly before we jump into today's video, I wanted to show you how I mix up my white. I do this the same way every single time I make flower coasters. This is Angel White Epoxy Paste from Laura's Art Corner, and I've had this jar for three years. Um, so it does last you a really long time. And what I do is I take my little stir stick, stir the product up inside the container, scrape the excess off of my stir stick, and I only use that tiny bit that is left on my stir stick, and I stir that into one ounce of clear resin. And this is how I mix my white every single time. After I've mixed the white for a little bit with the stir stick I used to grab the product out of the container, I do go in with another stick and just mix it for another minute or so just to make sure it is fully 100% mixed and that's it. I just wanted to show you guys that really quickly before we jump in and do our resin flower coaster. So here we are. I'm going to be using some alcohol inks from Let's Resin um, for my pigments or for my colors for my flower today. I do have my mold filled up two thirds of the way with clear resin already. I'm using the Platinum 360 resin from Laura's Art Corner. It's the best that I've tried to um, make flower coasters. I always get really pretty flowers. So definitely give it a try. Um, I'll link it down below along with my coupon code. And I didn't let my resin sit at all. Um, I just mixed my resin and started pouring right away. This resin has a 20 minute working time. So you can't mess around. You have to just mix and pour. So I dropped down some of the inks. I used peach red, lemon yellow, and sapphire blue. And now we're going to go in and draw our flower petals. So for this design, I'm going to do six large petals. And when you dip into your white, you want to make sure that you're not going to get a big drop of that white dropping down into your mold. So just dip it and then kind of let that drop drip into your white and then go in and draw your flower petal. You don't want that white dropping down onto your flower because you'll end up with some blobs and um, those always don't those don't really turn out too pretty. Um, sometimes it's not too bad but if you're going for like a really soft flower just when you dip your little I'm using a silicone q-tip to draw my flower petals. A silicone paintbrush also works really nice too but just dip it into your white, let that drop drip back into your cup, and then go in and draw your flower petal. So I drew my six large petals. Now I'm going to go in and just draw a smaller flower petal right underneath that large one. Um, this design is really easy to do, and they've been turning out really pretty too. I also wanted to see or try to not put anything in the center of this one to see how it would turn out, and I think it turned out really nice. And I'll show you guys that here in a second when we demold it. And I am going to do just a little swirl in the center. And that's going to be it for our flower petals. I'm going to add a little bit more white to the side right here of the flower. Just adding a tiny bit more white. And that's going to be it. And this is real time. I didn't speed this up at all. Um, this is exactly how I did it. It doesn't take long to make these. Um, which is kind of nice. And... The, like I said, just make sure, you know, you don't mess around with that Platinum 360 resin. You just want to mix it and pour right away. I didn't let mine sit out at all. I just mixed it up and started making my flower. And that's going to be it. I covered it up, let it dry for 24 hours, and here we are ready to demold it. I was really excited to pop this one out of the mold because it looked really pretty to me from the top side, which is what you're seeing here. It's always a surprise to see how they turn out when you demold these, but I really love how this one turned out. I think it just turned out beautiful. I hope you guys give this technique a try. It's really so easy to do, and um, definitely check out that Platinum 360 resin from Laura's Art Corner. Um, it's the best resin I've used to make flower coasters. Um, it's just like magic. Every time I make them, they turn out pretty. Um, so definitely check it out. It's not too expensive either. Um, I want to say it's like around less than or like 65 cents an ounce um, when you break it down with my coupon code. So it's not too bad. Um, and 
She also carries the angel white that I use to draw my flower petals. Um, so definitely check her shop out. I'll link all the materials I used down below in the description box along with any coupon codes that I have. And I did end up turning this one into a sun catcher. So off camera, I added a glitter backing layer and I have a tutorial that I made last week showing how I do that. If you wanna go check that out, I'll link it down below in the description box as well. So I added a glitter backing layer, gave it a clear resin top coat. Um, and attached some glass crystal beads and turn this one into a sun catcher. I do have it listed in my Etsy shop as well. It's available for purchase if you want to go check it out. I'll link my Etsy shop down below as well. Let me know what you think. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you're all doing fantastic and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.